Hello and welcome. Join me as I teach you how to solve these beautiful equations step by step. Now, this is what we call cubic equation because you see that the highest power of x is 3. So what it means is that you are expected to get three solutions for this equation. Let me show you how to do it. It's just so easy. So we're going to begin with solution. So let's repeat what we have. This is what we are given. Now at this point, what do you think we should do? The question is, is there a possibility of having a perfect cube and a square that we can subtract to give us 100? Let's look at this. Let's look at this. Let's look at plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2. Let's look at the factors or numbers that can divide 100. We can look at plus or minus 4, plus or minus 5. So let's try from when, let's say x is equal to 1. If you have 1 cubed minus 1 squared, 1 cubed is 1, and this is 1, so it's not equal to 100. This is not a solution. So we can try for 2, 2 cubed minus 2 squared. 2 cubed is 2 multiplied 3 times, giving us 8, and this is 4. This is not also equal to 100. So we can try also, just you can also do for negative. So we can also try for 4. We have 4 cubed minus 4 squared. This will give us 64, and this is 16. This is also not equal to 100. So let's try from when x is equal to 5. We are going to have 5 cubed minus 5 squared. 5 cubed is 5 multiplied 3 times, and that will give us 125. And this will give us 25. And you see, when you subtract this, that is what gives us 100. So it means that this x being 5 is a solution. So let's work with that. In that case, we are going to have x cubed minus x squared is equal to this 100. You see what we have for it. It is 125 minus 25 gives us back 100. So in that case, we are having x cubed minus x squared. Remember, this is the same as 5 cubed. So we have 5 cubed minus, this is the same as 5 squared. Interesting. Now, keep solving, we have x cubed minus x squared. We are going to move this to the left side. Remember, this is positive. So it's going to be negative 5 cubed. This is negative. It's going to be positive 5 squared. And everything is equal to zero. We are going to take the ones that are the same powers together. So we have x cubed minus 5 cubed minus x squared plus 5 squared is equal to zero. So we have, this gives us, so we are going to have x cubed minus 5 cubed. Let's put this together. For this, we are going to factor negative sign out. Remember, these two are together. That's what we have. These two are also together. So factor this out. This divides this. We have x squared. This divides this. We have negative 5 squared. And everything is equal to 0. Now, when you have something like this, it quickly reminds you of a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b and a minus b. And for every a cubed minus b cubed, it is a minus b into a squared plus a b plus b squared. Now, this is going to be a guide. Applying this on this, we are going to have, this is our a and this is b. So we have x minus 5 into, we have x squared plus x multiplies 5 plus 5 squared, that is for this, then bring down your subtraction sign. For this, we are applying this, and that will give us x plus 5 into x minus 5, and everything is equal to 0. Now, what did you observe? Remember that these two are together, these two are together. You observe that x minus 5 is repeated in the two parts. So we're going to factor it out. And to do that, 
and for you to also hard watch through this point it shows what you are doing interest you don't forget to hit that subscription button if you are still new give this a like share with your friends and also tell us how it helps you in the comments we always want to serve you best let's keep doing this together to have so factoring out we have x minus 5 open a big bracket use this to divide this you'll be left with this so we're having x squared plus this will give us 5x and 5 squared is 5 times 5 to give us 25 now use this to divide these two it takes this off we are left with x plus 5 remember there is subtraction sign so bring it down we are still going to have x plus 5 and everything is equal to zero interesting so keep solving we have x minus 5 into this is x squared plus 5x plus 25 now to open up this bracket with this subtraction sign we can still do it as negative one so use this to multiply out we are going to have negative x this multiplies we have negative five everything is equal to zero keep solving x minus five into this will give us x squared 5x minus x will give us 4x then 25 take away 5 gives us 20 everything is equal to zero and remember if a b is equal to zero either a is zero or b is zero so for this we are going to have let's work with this first so x minus 5 is equal to zero so to get x add 5 to both sides when you do that x will give us 5 and this is the first value of x now let's bring this down we are going to have x squared plus 4x plus 20 is equal to 0 now this is our quadratic equation because the highest power of x has become 2 so at this point you are going to use the formula method and remember x will give us negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a this is going to be our guide now applying this formula on this we have a is always the coefficient of x the coefficient of x squared here is one our b is always the coefficient of s which is four our c is the constant which is 20 so put this in the formula we are going to have x is equal to negative of four plus or minus square root of 4 squared minus 4 multiplies a is 1 multiplied by c is 20 and is divided by 2 multiplied by 1. So we're going to have x is equal to negative 4 plus or minus 4 squared is 4 multiplied 2 times and that gives us 16. Multiply this, it gives us negative 80 and is divided by 2 times 1 gives us 2. Keep solving. x is equal to negative 4 plus or minus square root of, subtract this, you have negative 64 divided by 2. Now this shows that, this negative shows we are getting a complex solution. So to remove this negative, we are going to have x is negative 4 plus or minus square root of, this is the same as negative 1 multiplied by 64 and is divided by 2 and you know for every root of a b multiplied it is root of a multiplied by root of b so this is giving us x is equal to negative 4 plus or minus root of negative 1 multiplied by root of 64 is divided by 2 now remember that root of negative 1 you always replace it with i our imaginary unit so use this here we are going to have x is equal to negative 4 plus or minus this will be i multiplied square root of 64 gives us 8 and is divided by 2 keep solving x is equal to negative 4 plus or minus this will give us 8i and we can divide each of the numerators by 2 so if you do that, x is equal to this device, you have negative 2 
plus or minus divide this you have 4i so you see this is the second and the third value of x now gathering all the values of x together we have the first value of x is 5 the second value of x is negative 2 plus 4i this is the second value of x and the third value of x is negative 2 minus 4i these are the three solutions for this cubic equation and this is the one we call the real solution because it contains only the real parts which can be seen on a number line and these two contain both the real and the imaginary part they are the complex solutions i hope you really learned something new today don't forget to like and share this video let's also see your own method in the comments i will always be there with you thank you for always engaging i'll see you in our next class bye, -bye.